and sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a flat fell seam. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. A flat fell seam can be done on the right side of your fabric or on the wrong side of your fabric. I've got the examples here of a flat fell seam, both of them are. This one was done on the right side of the garment and this one was done on the wrong side of the garment. And you find them on garments such as outerwear and sportswear to do with jackets and coats, for example. In order to sew a flat fell seam, you need to start with a plain seam, press that open, and then you press it to one side, both, um, both seam allowances. This just helps to set the seam and it can be done on the right side or the wrong side of your fabric, that's important. And the procedure is exactly the same whether you choose to do it on the right side or the wrong side. Now the first thing we need, after that, the first thing we need to do is to trim one side of the seam about three or four millimetres and then we're going to press the other seam allowance in half all the way down and then that is going to come over to cover the raw edge of the under seam. I've now trimmed one seam allowance, as you can see here, and I've folded over the other. So the under seam allowance is trimmed, the top seam allowance has been folded in half, all the way down and pressed. And the next step is to cover the raw edge of the under seam allowance and pin that into place. So put pins in. So we're just covering the raw edge because then we're going to edge stitch. So we're going to sew very close to the folded edge of the seam allowance. Just one more and you can also base if you wish as well. So now my flat fell seam is now pinned and ready to be sewn. Um, now I'm at my sewing machine, obviously, and I'm going to sew very close to the edge. That's the reason why it's called an edge stitch. Now you can use a bigger stitch if you wish. And you can also use contrasting thread. It's all about the effect that you want to achieve with your sewing project. Just keep sewing, go as slow or as fast as you can, or slow. But just make sure that you're on the edge of that folded seam allowance. I now have the flat fell seam complete. It's also referred to as a fell seam and a run and fell seam. Now this is the side in which I actually did the process of trimming and then turning it over in order to do the second row of stitches. So this would be, if you wish, the right or wrong side. But as a fell seam is actually um, sewn, this is the result you'll see. And on the wrong side, if you like, would be just one row of stitching and there's a the seam. So in this example, going back to my previous um, work that I did, um, this is the, both of them are the flat fell seam. But if you wanted the effect of a double stitch line on the right side of the garment, you would need to do the seam um, application on this side, which is the right side. Um, if you want your felt seam to be on the inside, like so, so that's the same as that, then you will only have one row of stitching and this will be the result on the right side of your fabric. I hope you found that video tutorial of help. The tip I can give you when working with a flat fell seam is before you start your sewing project, decide which type of seam you actually want to be shown on the right side of your garment. So if you're wanting two rows of stitching, then remember you need to do your seams on the right side. And if you don't, then you need to do it on the wrong side. Do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Click here for free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. And if you have any comments or queries, Put them in the comment box below 